All right, what's going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be playing Rogue Book. This is a basically a Slay the Spire clone, right? A roguelike deck builder. This one is particularly interesting for me because it's made by Richard Garfield, the same creator of Magic the Gathering. If you don't know, I have an entire Magic the Gathering channel. I have played this game for like six to eight hours or so. I don't know, it hasn't really captured me in the same way that Slay the Spire did, like Monster Train did. I think I have more hours than that Pirate Outlaws game I played a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, this game just hasn't really captured me and I want to do a run and we'll talk about it. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on. Um, the big issue I've had is the characters just don't feel distinct enough that um, I don't know. I, I'm not feeling like that urge to, to run and run and run and do more runs and do more runs because they're all kind of, uh, they're not the same, but, uh, they're, they're kind of boring. I'll just do it the, do the main two, the starting two. So what I really like about this game, uh, here's another problem before we get into this. There is a very extreme meta progression where, you literally just get stronger like you, you get more health you add more more health potions to the game um and that that's already like a big a big no-no for me how do i start we go over here and we click this and i don't want to do any of this um it gets easier and easier with that meta progression but you can also set challenges for yourself so there's that but yeah what i really like about it what's really cool here's the map is slay the spire is great I have played the game for many, many hours. One thing I don't like about Slay the Spire is the map system and having to choose routes. I just find that aspect boring. Every time I get into a new level and it's like, all right, well, we got to choose a path. I just find that aspect not great. Um, it's much better here. Let's pick a card first, though. We get ranged. Uh, gain seven block, gain two courage. We get gain seven block if you control an ally. Gain 11 block. And we have charge, uh, attack for nine, both heroes gain two power until the end of turn. Uh, I guess I'll take this, just because it's cheap, it only costs one, this costs two. So yeah, I'll do this. So it's interesting, I guess I should do a battle before I explain the map system. Let's do a battle really quick and then I'll show you how this all works. It's pretty cool actually. Here we go. So this is uh, pretty familiar, right? We've got damage, we're taking 10, we've got 10 incoming. What's interesting about this is each character has different life, and if one character dies, then well, it, it's just bad. So what are we doing here? I can kill the front one, so that just prevents that damage altogether. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. And now we're taking five, and I can gain eight block. So each one has a different ability. Um, this has, if she's in front, she gains ten or three power, which means she deals more damage. Um, if he's in front at the end of turn, we gain two blocks. So we're at eight. We're going to go to ten here. So that's nice. So who's in front can impact things. Charge is going to swap this hero to the front and then deal 12. And give us both power. So probably... Can I kill this thing? The answer is I think so. Yeah, so we'll kill the one that's attacking. Uh, strike for 12. And then this isn't doing anything. We'll just uh, strike it for nine. So this is the first fight, of course, so it's nothing nothing too crazy. Dealing 10, but we should be able to kill it here. Alright, just do this. Easy. So winning a battle gives you ink, as we see here, gold and ink. And ink is how we reveal the map. We can we can also draft another card here. We should do this. Uh this always costs all your energy attack ten times the amount spent. So if I do that right away, it's 30. And that's pretty good. Discard your hand, attack for zero, six times the number of cards discarded. I see. So not as good as this. This is ten times. Attack for 24. Oh, it costs five. I don't even have five mana. One, cost one less for each card played this turn. So this is basically uncastable right now. It might be good later, but not right now. I think this hammer time is pretty good. I'll also reveal a bit of the map here. So the way you explore in this game, instead of having just a, uh, we probably want to go here. Instead of just having, you no know, routes that you have to choose, you, you literally explore the map. So I'll use this here. 
And then I can hit this tower, which is going to reveal all of this. And you use these ink. Uh, if I go, if I go here and do this, it's going to expose all these tiles. And exposing the tiles is how you find battles. It's how you find cards. Like we found this vault here, which is going to have a card in it. Uh, this is a health potion here. So the exploration aspect of this game, far superior to Slay the Spire. Um, it's basically the only thing I like better than Slay the Spire is this uh, this exploration mechanic, which is really uh, satisfying and fun. Uh, attack an enemy for 12. Uh, this deals a lot for just one mana. Um, this is an ally, so you have summons. That's what an ally is. When the leading hero plays a card, deal damage equal to this ally spirit, which is 4. So 4 damage every time I cast a spell, once this is on the field. But only if the leading hero is playing the card. It's pretty good, but also lots of hurdles, hoops to jump through. Attack an enemy for 7 3 times. Seven, that's 21. I think the 1 mana thing is better. Alright, so let's do a battle here. There was a couple battles back that I skipped. Uh, these aren't doing anything. Skipping their turn. So these probably like explode into huge amounts of power so we probably want to kill them quickly let's do the one with the least amount of the, the camera shake is a bit extreme i think i can turn that off yeah i think the camera shake is a bit excessive uh better better much better all right so we got a couple turns to try to kill these guys i think they're gonna deal huge damage if i don't kill them sure we'll do 12 actually no it doesn't kill them uh, so we got power up, so stuff deals more damage now. Uh, nine. I don't have another attack card. Let's get the tank in front, though. See what happens here. <laughs> 24. And I don't have a way to kill them here. Uh, or do I? No, I can deal 30. Or I can deal 12. So this is more efficient to do this. This is more efficient. So we'll do this. And then this deals 12, but she's going to take 24. Yeah, except let's uh, gain some block. And take a bunch of damage here. So damage is permanent. It's like Slay the Spire, so that's a pretty huge chunk of health gone. Uh, I can't kill them. I don't have enough stuff. So let's get the tank in front. Let's defend. So 14, we'll get two more. So it's only going to take two. Not a huge deal. And then we should kill him here. Alright. Uh, yeah, just do that. Great. So that's, uh, another battle. Should get more ink to expose the map. You do fights to get ink so you can explore more and find more. Um, actually, there's a piece of treasure back here. What is this? Um, the first time the hero takes damage each battle, draw a card, gain an energy. And this is precision, precision ink. So I can just expose one there. Get that. So the first time this hero takes damage each battle. Well, she's more likely to take damage because she's not as defensive. But I usually have him in front. Let's just give it to him. It's fine. All right, let's go back because I know there's... Uh, this is an elite battle here. You can find these um, anywhere. But there's always one in front of the boss. This is the boss. So if I wanted to, I could just fight this, go straight to the boss. But... It's obviously an advantage to to search the map for treasure and stuff. Find more cards. Uh, this is what? The leading hero suffers from an aura of weakness. So I want to deal damage from the back, preferably. So this is more efficient than this. These deal 7. This deal 7. This deal 20 for 2, so that's better. So we'll do that. Great. 21. Let's try to get our tank in front because this is kind of scary. This deals 7. This deals 8. So do this. Defend. Guard. So it's going to be 16. Not terrible. Now we're, they're attacking for 18. So because I took damage, I have 4. So this deals 27. It's at 34, so I need to block. I don't know if I can... If I get her in front, I don't know if I can get this guy back. Let's see what happens. Defend. Yeah, none of these. That's that's actually not great, but... We'll do 20. 
Gonna take a bunch of damage here. Down to 20. Alright. We should be able to kill it this turn, right? Surely. Damage, damage. Sure. Alright. Oh, got that one done. More gold, more ink. There's a shop here. I'll go to that. I want to see what this is. Transform a card into a powerful new card. Oh, I can't get back there because these trees are in the way. I need to go around. All right. There's a battle here. Also can't reach that. Hey, let's see what's in the shop really quick. Uh, These are... What are they? Trinkets would be the name. These are gems that we can add to cards to uh modify them. I kind of like this. I don't have... I'm four, four gold short of it, but we can come back for that maybe. All right. So it would be... It would make sense to try to hit this uh, tower. So let's... uh. Let's do like one, two, three. Then use this. Nice. There's a health potion and a, a fairy well. This will give me more mana on the first turn. There's some ink here. Can I? Yeah, I can do uh, this. And then we can hit this tower. Exposing lots of stuff. More. Uh, Health potion, more gold. Uh, what is this? Yak hide. Each turn, gain three block. Yes, please. That is a very useful trinket. Uh, this is going to expose some of the map. Which is right here. Okay, there's an elite boss. Interesting. We'll take a gem here. Hero attacks from this card deal three damage. Gain 15 block. This card costs one more. 15 block is a lot, though. Huh. I guess I can take this and put it on a block card. This uh, gains 18 block. And now it's, that, that's going to be a huge, huge defensive card now. Let's just do a couple of these small battles. Hopefully nothing too crazy here because I've taken way too much damage. Alright, these aren't too bad, I don't think. Um, Lots of defensive cards here early. I'm one short of killing this, which is annoying. So, oh wait, I've impact, I've impact. So 12 here... Nice. And then we can strike this one. And defend, even though... Oh, we're taking two, but... Doesn't matter. We have that Yak Hide, so we had three block anyway. Oh, right. These resummon every turn. I've fought this thing before, and it's annoying. Alright, so we'll strike here. We'll... So it's better to spread out the damage, right? That way, he, when he summons them, we can kill all of them in one turn. So we, we really need that impact card. Alright, do this. This is a ton of damage. I need to kill this stuff. Like, badly. Strike here. I need to get this guy up front. I'm gonna do this just to get him up front. Gonna take some damage, but that's fine. Yep. But now he's up front, so this should be... He didn't resummon that time. Oh, is it... If something dies... Oh, he only has so many reinforcements. Right, okay. So impact is good. Kills both of them for one mana. And now he's exposed. Start, uh, just kill him off actually. He only had six health, I didn't notice. Alright, that, that works. Kind of an interesting battle actually. Apply this pigment to your brush to reveal a space and all adjacent spaces within a radius of two. Oh, I get to choose? Oh, that's really good actually. Um, we'll probably wait. Uh, I don't know. You can look at the map without moving. So it'd be nice to get down to whatever this is. Oh yeah, transforms the card. There's a battle here. So like, what? I I can go like here. I can do... It's not very efficient, but... It gets me down there. There's a... A draft a thingy. Gain 5 block for free. That's definitely good. This is also good, because it's free... I have to pay one for it, but then I get free attacks. But I think just free five block is good. Oh, by the way, the health potions heal for 10. Both my characters are below 10, so I can use one of these. That's fine. So, let's maybe use a couple of these. Is this enough? Nope, I need to use one more. Use one more. Use one of these. There's another card draft thing. Vault of Wisdom. Gain 6 block retreat. So that swaps the hero. Oh, and it's the... It's her, so... 
She can gain a bunch of block, then swap back, which is good. Add a headbang, gain block equal to twice the number of headbangs. Discard her hand. Yeah, I think this is very good. Because she keeps taking damage. And I want to get her back. Pay 70 gold to transmute a card. What would I transmute? Oh, I have a... So as you level up through the... You unlock these abilities, and these change every run. So once per battle, click on Shara to attack the leading enemy for 15 and retreat. That's just free. That's really good. Uh, the first attack he makes each turn gains 5 power. That's pretty good. And this makes allies cost less. That's decent. I could do an ally build with that, but I think this is also very good. Just ways to get her back. She can jump forward, deal damage, then get out. Um, are there any cards that I don't want? I could probably just do one of these basic strikes or something. Yeah, probably. Alright, transmute. Let's do... Do one of the basic strikes. Um, so I can get a gem or a card. Attack for five, which is less, but it's free. Both heroes gain power equal to this ally's spirit. That's decent. Both heroes gain two power until end of turn for free. I think the free attack is really good. Although draw a card is also very good. Actually, I like this better because I can put this on one of my free. Oh, I get the. Is that how this works? I I combine them. I've never done this before. So zero mana, five draw a card is really crazy. Also zero mana, deal five, gain four block is also very crazy. I think this is probably better. Because I still have to spend mana to cast whatever I draw. But just free, five damage, four block. That seems really good. I guess we could try to do an elite monster. An elite battle. Big rewards here, but they're also dangerous. Could just die here. Alright, so it'd be nice to kill this guy. Uh, can I not? Okay, there we go. And I can do that. We don't have to worry about this one damage because we have the free three block from the Yak Hide. So I think I'm just going to attack and defend. Seems fine. Okay, they have five block now. Uh, bleed is scary. It's actually very bad. Huh. Well, here's that card. That's nice. Let's get her out. Yeah, bleed sucks because, well, it's, it's the damage is permanent, right? Uh, there's no healing except with health potions, but... Yeah, it's kind of kind of bad. Five damage per turn. Five damage per turn is, uh, not good. All right. So, what? We strike this guy. This is nine coming in, so I should do one defend... And then 10 damage. Might die from the bleed. Great. Alright, uh... So this is free. And this is free. And... Attack, attack. Defend for no reason. Oh, she took more bleed. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. She's definitely dying here. Um, impact strike. Ah, uh, three life and she's gonna die here. That's rough. But, um, death is a permanent. It's just an inconvenience. So now all of her spells turn to these. And if I cast, um, does it say how many I need to cast? I think it's five. After I cast five of these, she'll revive. So it's not the end of the world. You die. I think she'll gain some life after the end of the battle, too. Let's find out. Yeah, she goes back to 8. This card's attack deals bonus damage equal to your courage plus 3. Hmm. We get gold. Pages are the meta progression thing that I think kind of ruins the game. And we get that ruby thing. Um, do we want to add that to something? So what happens if I add that to impact? This card's attack... Deal bonus. Yeah, it does. It adds to the adjacent enemies thing. So instead of 12 and 6, it does it does 15 and 9. Uh, he doesn't gain courage that much, but the extra damage seems good. So let's do that. Guess we'll do this little battle here. And then we'll start revealing more of the map. What are these? Forest Wisps? Alright, well, 8 damage, gain block is good. I should have got the courage first. That's a mistake. 
Um, so kill you. Strike for nine. I can't get her back enough. She keeps being stuck in front. She's not going to take damage here, though, so it's fine. Uh, let's see. Free block. Impact is good. Not sure why... Like, what's going on here? Why can't I target these? There's no information. Oh, protection. Prevent the first instance of damage this would take. Interesting. So I guess I kill you. Damage you a little bit. Get you up front. And strike. I do have those wounds in my deck now. Um, these, because I died once. Every time you die, you get more wounds. So it gets harder and harder to recover from... Um, having someone die, so... It's still not good. I mean, I could... Could strike you... Then use this to just one-shot that. Seems fine. Thirteen. Alright. So, strike. And I can one-shot you again. That card's proving to be pretty useful. Alright. Decent. Continue. Take you more of that Stardust stuff, which was pretty good. Alright, so now we start looking for more stuff. Is there anything revealed? I mean, there's a lot of unrevealed map over here. So, let's, uh... Let's use Precision Ink to get a little bit further out. Then do... I guess I didn't need to do that. Do this. Okay, gold, 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 health potion. Trying not to use that until Sirocco takes damage. Oh, draft here. Give a hero three power. Dissolve, don't really like that. Three mana, gain eight. Dissolve every card you play this turn. I mean, that's pretty cool. Charge, attack for four, gain block equal to the damage dealt. So basically, one mana deal for gain four. I mean, it's not bad. I like any ends any way for uh for her Shara to gain uh block because she keeps taking damage. I will right, we'll do a precision ink here, and we'll do this. Gold, gem, gain four block or ally. Nope, gain four block. And we'll pro should we put this on an attack card or just make the defensive card even more defensive? I kind of like being able to attack and also gaining some blocks, so I'll do that. Alright. Another draft here. Um, attack for- there's another attack for 7, gain 7 block. Ally at the start of your turn, add a random card to your hand for each point of spirit. So it's one- it, it does cost 0. It's 0 mana, basically draw a card. Every, every turn. I kind of like that. Doesn't cost anything. We'll do this battle. Hopefully we can get Sirocco in front. So. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, well this is free. We can. So you're, you've got more. I'm not going to be able to kill anything. So. Strike you. Get back. Defend. So we're blocking all the damage. Yep. Yep. Alright. Only taking six here. Impact is great. Do impact. Shaman. Activate. The last card you play this turn is in your discard pile. Return it to your hand. Hmm. Can I kill this guy? Oh, I can't. Can't see him. Right. Um, so we'll strike you. We're taking six. This gains four blocks, so I can do this. And pass. So this guy does huge damage when he wakes up, so that's noteworthy. I don't have any way to get him in front, and there's a ton of damage here. So that's scary. We definitely need to find ways to gain blocks, so do this. You gain seven. Alright, we got block, that's good. Alright, kill you off. So the concerning thing here, this always costs all your energy attack 10 times for the amount of mana spent, but it deals 2? Why does it deal 2? I mean, there's no way to do anything with that, but that's interesting. Not sure why. 
Okay, so this is dangerous. This guy back here hits hard. But we have zero mana, gain five block. That's good. We have whenever you draw or play it, this gain. I'm um, draw and gain. Sure, 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 sure. Um. So this guy can't be targeted until everything else is dead. That's why that's like that. I need to get you up front. And then strike. Strike. So we've got tons of block. It's fine. Alright, so we just need to not do anything like lunge. Impact. That's still going to hit this person even though they can't see, can't be seen. This is fine. This is fine. We're going to take a ton of damage here, but I have health potions. Alright, down to 56. We'll do this. And this. Alright. That was a scary battle, but we got it. Coins. Noble Ink. Great. Use an energy, or use a health potion. And I can use another one, yeah? That's fine. Okay. So unfortunately, I can only reveal four spaces. I don't have any more brushes. I guess I can do this elite battle. I think the elite battle gives a brush. I'm not sure. Does it say? Yeah, one brush. I wish I could change these so he starts in front. I think that depends on the leader. Because I picked her first. So that's annoying. But we'll do this elite battle. What is that? Voice of hunger. When a creature dies, this enemy consumes them and gains four power but skips the turn. So killing stuff is good. So you're going to deal 15 and 9. So we do this. And then we do this. Kill both of those. It's going to skip its next turn. But it's going to be powerful. Strike. Strike. Pass. Down to 77. Um, the enemy intends to use a debuff. I mean that's fine. You're free. Attack for 10. So use that. Great. Down to 47. Uses a debuff. Making me weak. That's annoying. But this is free. Uh, playable if you have Shara cards. If you only have Shara cards in hand. So if I... Wait, what's it do? Attack the leading enemy. Okay, so... Gain 6 block. This is... Oh, the wound. I can't cast this because the wound. Okay, so we'll lunge forward. Deal damage. Then we'll retreat... Gain more block. We've got a lot of block. 29. So that wasn't bad. It's more damage. Scary amounts of damage. Alright, this is free. This is free. I love free cards in games like this. Oh, it says attack a random enemy for 3. Repeat for each card you've played this turn. So, I want to use this for sure. Probably just guard, gain a ton of block, 35, and then do this. Pretty cool. And we should block all of this damage. Great. Alright, not attacking, so we just go crazy, right? Alright, strike. Oh, this deals 7, this deals 12. Oh, it's dead. Nice. So, something I should say now that we've played this for a bit... Is this game's really good, right? So far, like, what, what do I have to complain about? Um, it, it's great. I'm having fun. Um, it's a solid Slay the Spire clone. Uh, whenever you end a turn with 8 or less block, the leading hero gains 1 courage. I mean, it's a free artifact thing, so that's fine. Or a trinket. The problem I've had with this game isn't that it's bad. It's a really good, um, really fun game. The problem I've had... Oh, wait, I can switch them. I, I misclicked. Okay, well, good to know. He's staying up front. The problem I've had with this game isn't that it's bad. It's that, um... The, the characters are not distinct enough that I find... Uh, doing runs over and over again gets boring. Like with Slay the Spire... Um... Every run feels very... Unique. There's four different characters with totally different uh, 
like ways that they they defeat enemies and stuff and each character also has different decks you can build whereas this every run i've made so far has just felt kind of the same i'm basically just dealing damage and gaining block uh so was there anything here that i wanted oh yeah it was this right gain block whenever you swap it's not crazy but it's also not bad i, I think i'm going to take this all right great oh i have a have a thing here Hidden Blade, start to battle with three daggers. It's basically free six damage every turn, or every battle once, which isn't insane. Each turn, the first time you play a card that costs two or more, gain an energy. I'm mostly casting one mana things. Gain an energy and draw a card at the start of each battle. Okay, so only for the first, first turn, it's an extra card. So do I want, like, an extra energy and an extra card, or... For free damage? Probably this. Probably this. Okay. I guess we go into... Oh no, I wanted to use this health potion. And we will... Let's see if... Uh, Sirocco starts in front. Or if it's just a visual... For nope, he is in front. Well, that's useful. Krog Ogre King. Uh, I could just straight up do 50 damage to him. If I want. Um, This is free, so I should do that. Um, and I should do any, any damage that's more than 10, but I don't have any. Yeah, let's just deal 50, 50 straight up. Sure. I'm going to take some damage, three. But if we beat this guy, we re refill our health for the next area. All right, there's the glider. I guess we're just defending because all my cards defend. So, yep. Got 28 block. So these get eaten, right? Krog's dinner. They count down. And then he eats them against power. So I want to kill these. Um, Free block. Lunge. Strike. Strike. Alright. Yeah, see he ate one of them. So now he's more powerful. 16 and it's uh, piercing. So, unblocked damage damages both heroes. That's not great. So, I want to defend. I want to make sure I defend all of this, which I do. And then, what deals more damage? 15. Great. And pass. By the way, the summons are just down here. I didn't mention that. When you summon something, it's just a little thing down here with the effect. So, 14. It's not piercing now, so that's good. Uh, this is free. This is the free card from this, by the way. It's like, I just keep getting random cards. Daggers. Um, 14. I would like to block some of this. Let's block. And attack for 7. Alright. We're fine. So we've got dinner. Krog's dinner. We want to kill these. Um, free... What's this? Ally, aggressive... So aggressive means it's going to deal 5 damage every turn. I think that's worth having down. Um, then we will swap. 10. He's dealing 22. So let's attack this. Gain 7. So do I want to take 5 to kill this one? Oh, this is going to deal... Yeah, let's, let's, at, let's attack this one. This deals 5. I'm going to take 5. But now I should be able to kill both of these because he's going to try to eat them. Hopefully I can kill both of these. Um, what's the Sucker Punch? Play only if Sirocco is leading. Attack the leading enemy for 16. Well, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And... I guess... Wait, what's this? This is 20. Yeah, do this. Down to 96. And we deal the five. Big uh, piercing damage here. So we need to block. Whenever the leading hero plays... Yeah, I need, I need to block more than anything. Uh, this gains seven block. This gains five block. That's 15. I need to get him in front and I can't. So I guess I just play this. Oh, this... No, this deals damage. Yeah, play this. Got lots of summons here. Gonna take some damage, but not the end of the world. Alright, 14 coming in. Um, one mana add... Wait, what's this? 
give a hero six power. Let's strike. Let's add these. Oh yeah, this is going to deal lots of damage because every dagger I cast, this is going to deal f an extra four. So down to 47. I want... Uh, let's let's defend, then get Taroko, or Soroko in, in front. Alright, we're doing fine. I think we're going to win this battle. Got impact, that's good. Let's do this. Great. Attack for 10. If this kills an enemy, gain 8 block. I mean, that's pretty good. Wait, why is it dealing... Why is it dealing it to both? I don't know. I'll take it. I... Okay, it wasn't. It was... Wait, what? Oh, it's because of this stuff? I don't know. That was weird. Alright, I want to block some stuff. Yes, yeah, so again, 9 block. Oh, if it retreats from the... Interesting. So if it's in the back and it has a retreat... It goes forward, then goes back. That's going to trigger... It's going to trigger Glider. I can also activate this to swab. I forgot about that. I also forgot I could click her and deal damage. From whatever that thing was that I got. Once per battle, click her to deal 15 and retreat. I totally forgot that existed. Whoops. Haven't been using that. Um, what are we at? We're at 5 health, so just kill this guy off. There we go. So that's one of three bosses, right? This is the... Slay the Spire style of three bosses to win. Energy is stored between turns. Whenever this hero deals 20 damage in a single hit, inflict weak. At the start of each battle, add four columns prayer to your deck. Zero mana, draw two. That seems pretty good. This seems kind of useless for me. This seems unlikely. We have one card that can do this. So probably just free card draw is fine. Um, fully heal heroes, collect heroic... Oh, that, that removes the wounds. Oh, that's nice. So no more wounds in the deck. Collect heroic rewards for defeating this chapter. So I can either take a gem. Whenever you draw this, reduce this cost by one. That's pretty good. Or a pile of cards. Gain 25. I don't like that. A zero, draw two, then put two cards on top of your deck. That's okay. It's like brainstorm and magic, basically. Uh, two mana, gain eight block, then attack the leading enemy equal to your block. I mean, that's a lot of damage potentially, but do I want this other stuff in my deck? And the answer is not really. I'll take the gym. Get pages, get the brush. And then we move onward. I can if I want, I believe. No, I can't. I thought I could explore with these brushes, but the brushes are for this next area. The areas are always the same. Just like, uh... Slay the Spire, right? And, uh, Monster Train, same thing. So yeah, and a new area. We've got, uh, what's this? All of this hero's cards gain Retain. Interesting. Uh, a Sky Tower. Sky Tower. Uh, when this hero plays an ally, gain plus one power. I mean, it's a free trinket, so it's not a big deal. Draft a card. Gain block equal to the size of your draw pile. That could be a lot. Could also be like nothing. Uh, both heroes gain two power until end of turn. It's free, but it's also not that exciting. And then we got this thing. Whenever the leading hero plays a card, deal damage equal to it. I mean, it did a lot of damage. It's not bad. Maybe this is fine. I'll take this. You could not click these, by the way. And, uh, you know, not take so many cards. I, I kind of am just because, I don't know, I'm playing for fun. I think I'm going to take the heal four. Um, very useful for this person. Great. And we'll leave. Healing is relevant in this game. As you saw, we did have someone die because, well, they took damage. Same thing with, uh, Slay the Spire, right? So, we'll draw two cards. And we'll... <laughs> I, I shouldn't keep playing these just for the heck of it. Let's, uh... Let's, I mean, this is a ton of damage coming in. So let's just defend, probably smoke bomb. I should strike while I'm here though. Attack you. Don't have any way to kill them, so let's just, let's just block. Strike for seven. And we'll just pass. We'll save that card draw for later since I don't have mana. Or energy, or whatever it's called in this game. 
Okay, impact is good. Probably worth doing this. Gets rid of some of this damage. This is free. I mean, I could play this, but it puts her in front, which I don't want. Although, she'll gain four, so I guess it's fine. Sure. Yep, take some damage. Alright, I can deal 40 and kill this, but then... Yeah, see, here's that card. Five block for two is not good. This is all right. I can do the, the clicky thing, right? I can do this. Great. This is free. We still have three left. So do this. And now kill this. Okay, fine. Fine. Something else I haven't really commented on is look how good the art is. Like... I'm a big fan of Slay the Spire and Monster Train both. And this, the overworld part here isn't too exciting, but the art of like the backgrounds and stuff. Like here, I think this is very good. Like the, the waterfalls and stuff back here. Very cool. This enemy is very dangerous and it might kill me. Like literally. So we'll play this because it's pretty decent. This is free. This is free. It's, I keep get, uh, doing the power things. I need to do that first. And I keep not doing it first. Alright, we're doing a lot of damage. We're already down to 65, so... Maybe this battle won't be so bad, but this enemy, I've died to this... Multiple times. Impact is good. Uh, I guess I can do it here. And right, this thing's dealing 12. Let's retreat, gain some block. And then... How much are they dealing? Yeah, one more block. More block, please. Just let this thing deal damage while I gain block. Gonna take some damage there, it's fine. I mean, these are really good with this pet, right? This pet deals damage every time I cast a spell, so like... It's free damage here, just four. It didn't? Why didn't it? Does it not count? Oh, because it's not associated... Right. I have to cast his spells. If I cast hers right now, she's in the back, so it won't trigger. And then this is no one's. This is just like a... Yeah, it's not associated with any of these characters. Okay, so... Let's get the free ally. That's damage. This is... See, this, see how much damage this thing does? This is why it always kills me. And I can do this. Then I can draw a couple. And... I'll do this, I guess. Which deals four. Got six... I can gain 6 block out of 12. Let's see if we can get anything better going. 20 damage is not good enough. So let's just defend. Maybe draw a couple more cards. See if we can get something a bit more relevant here. I mean, okay, that's free. That's 16. So now I can just strike. And deal 4. That card draw is very useful. Oh, I should have... had that one card that still does 2 damage for some reason when I have 0 energy. That's fine though. Gain 16 block for 2 is fine. Taking 26 here, so... Let's try to not take 26. Let's cast this. We're at 14. So probably just gain some block. And this is fine. Take 6. Alright, let's um gain an energy for each ally. That's actually pretty good because I have 3. So that takes me to five. So parry for free. Do four for free. Do this. Then I want you up front. Impact. And then defend, which will do another another four. And we have all the block in the world. I mean, this is a tough fight for... I mean, this feels like a mini boss, right? This feels like an elite boss, and it's not. This is just a... A regular enemy. What's this do? Attack all enemies for 20 whenever you defeat an elite or a boss battle. Okay, it's not going to be relevant because I'm not going to have this. But I'll cast it anyway. Nice. And she gained 4. So that's useful. What is this? Explosive pigment. Apply the sprinkle to your brush to reveal all spaces in a radius of 3. So it's just a bigger... A bigger reveal. Alright, let's draft a card. 4 block for free is good. Attack for 25 is okay. I mean, free block. I'll take free block all day. 
reveal some space. Oh, there's a health potion. So that's nice. Yeah, this is just a huge, huge reveal area. Let's do this. There's a health potion, which I can use immediately. Nice. Oh, did it heal more than 10? It might have. Uh, this is three spaces, which is perfect. We'll do this. Then reveal this. Great. And we have another reveal here. Uh, what do these do again? I forget. Encounter a story, right? This is like the random events. There's tanks. There's tanks in this game, apparently. The sound of humming mechanical engines catches Sirocco's attention. What was once a silent valley has transformed into an imperial encampment. The regiment appears to be conducting a training exercise. One of the soldiers notices their presence and lays his hand on his sword. You there, do you serve the Empire? Join in the training, increase the hero's stats. Swear an oath? Which is zero mana, can't be played. When you draw this, enemies gain two pa- Why would I- what? Oh, reveal the entire map. Reveal the entire map and get a curse. Two power every time I draw this? Every time I draw it. No, I'm going to join the training. The heroes nod. You are allowed into the encampment strength training. Pay 50 gold to increase the hero's power by one permanently. Pay 50 gold to increase the max HP of a hero by five. I would honestly like to increase her max HP just a touch. So, trains, great. Can I do that multiple times? No. That was a one-time thing. Alright, we'll draft a card here. Whoops. We have... Gain 8 block, add 2 headbangs, which, uh... Gain 3 power for the next attack. And the headbangs are cool. This was really good when I got it randomly, so I'll take that. Hero attacks from this card deal 3 damage, or after you play this, shuffle it into your deck at the end of turn. Boomerang, makes sense. Um, let's just add damage to something. Uh, what are we adding damage to? I don't have another impact because that would have been good. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that doesn't work. I haven't used this either. I forgot about that. What about this? No. You increase the the ally damage by increasing the spirit. You need gems that increase spirit. Um, I could just add more power to this. Eight. That seems fine. And then this was, whenever you draw this, reduce its cost by one. So that would be useful for this because it costs two. That's fine. And then we will do another battle. And we have Fugus. Okay. Free block. Damage and power. But we have no way to deal damage. Let's draw cards. Great. Lunge for 14. This is free. So that's all the damage I can do. Let's just do this. And pass. Pass. So what is this? Seeks revenge if their friend is killed. Is that what it said? So if I kill one, the other one's going to get really powerful. Presumably. I wonder if that means I should damage both of them equally. Because right now they're not that powerful, right? I think that's the idea. I'm guessing that's what we should be doing. Let's strike. Sure. Gain 10 block. Gain 10 block. I can draw a couple cards if I get anything for free. Like that. Perfect. Awesome. That worked out well. 20 damage. Well, these are also just getting more powerful. Cast this. Cast this. Deal 20. Can't gain any block and I can't swap these. This is... F um, right, I cook here. So there's that. Oh, that puts her in the back. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so now... These deal 7 plus 4... So if I cast both of these, I deal 22, and this does 24, basically. So this is still better. Do that. Um, I'm taking 40 damage, though. And I got 5 block. So that's quite a bit of damage, but it's fine. Alright, so... Let's draw cards. I want, uh, I want Sirocco cards. I'm not getting them, though. Let's defend, which deals 4 damage. Let's see what happens. Gain 10 power. Okay, that's just... It's just more powerful. It's not attacking, though, so let's... Let's get some damage in. 
Oh, why could I? I thought I had more energy. Did that end the turn? I don't know what just happened. Um, when your hero swap deal damage, that's fine. 40 damage coming in. This is not great. All right, do that. Gain block. And pass and take a bunch of damage. Yep. Ow. 23 times 2. Just die. Just die. Get out of here. That was a tough battle. That was surprisingly tough. Coins? Reveal four spaces in opposite directions. Sure. So, like... How, how does this work? I see. So I'd like to get out a little bit before using that. I'll do this battle. Hopefully not another crazy one, because... I'm a little bit low on health. Okay, Cannoneer, so probably going to charge up and then do massive damage, I would assume. Um, draw a couple cards. Uh, well, interesting. Alright, so let's uh, defend, free, you, and then start striking. Um, sure. 30 damage, yep, that's uh, that's... That, that, that's about what I expected. So gain four block and get free damage. Uh, gain four block. Free damage. So I definitely want to swap these. And play this, which is four damage. Alright, so we block all the damage. Not bad. Charging up again. So, let's impact. Strike. I'm just doing the all this because it's free damage, right? So I, want, I just want to use his attacks when possible. And this is free 5 damage every turn, so we'll do this. Oh yeah, I can click her, deal 15 damage. Should have saved that until she was in front if I couldn't uh, swap her. But maybe this is fine. This deals 30. It's not enough. This uh, draws 2, gain 4 power, gain 8 block. Uh, we'll do this. 24, and this deal is 30 now, so that's good. Alright, we got through that. Kind of scary. Get gold, get another explosive thing. Um, I would like a health potion. Do this. Gold, gold. Draft a card. This is not bad. This is pretty good. One mana gain 11 block, because I do control allies now. Not really a fan of any of these, I'm just going to skip here. Alright, reveal this. Gold. Gold. And we have the battle. I know there's an artifact over there that I can get pretty easily, but it's not that impactful. And I don't want to use a brush for it until... Like, unless I absolutely need to. Uh, this is... A lot of damage right off the bat. It's 28. Can deal 50 damage to something. They have 100... Holy crap! Whenever this takes, whenever your hero plays a card, take five damage. That's good. So, let's gain some block, five damage. Gain some block, five damage. Swap, gain a ton of block. Okay, so we've, we've blocked them now. So now we just, uh, this is 14. Well, it's 14, but it deals six each, right? So these are probably better. Just numbers. More, more spells cast. And then this does zero, but it deals six each because of this. Right, yeah. Nice. And we block all the damage. So this is just about casting as many spells as possible. So these just deal five, right? No, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, um... I can click you. I don't know why I keep doing that so early. Should probably wait. Piercing damage. That's scary. I don't like that. Um, free card draw... One for this. Free. And I have enough block to block this, but not that. Yeah, so I do want to... Want to gain some block here. 20, which is not enough. So two to each. Yeah. Alright. Uh, this is very good. Uh, do that. Great. Um... Should have done this first. 
zero damage, zero damage, zero damage. Great, great, great. Strike and dead. All right, that was, again, interesting. There's so much about this game that I like. It's a good game. I just wish the heroes felt a bit more distinct. That's been my biggest complaint. I mean, that's it. There's so much about the game that's good. Just wish the heroes felt a little bit more distinct. Oh, this is a good place to... Here. It's an okay place. We'll do this. We'll draft a card. One. Attack for nine. Increase the damage by three for each ally you control, which is kind of a lot. Gain seven block during the enemy's next turn each time an attack is fully blocked at a dagger. It's not bad. Combo, gain four block plus two additional block for each dagger in your hand. See, this stuff is pretty unique. But I don't have enough stuff to support it right now. Don't really want any of this. I'm just going to skip. Just going to skip. Going to reveal here. Take these. There's some ink. That's nice. Coins. I'm gonna use. The, oh, I don't. Ha I can't. Can't use that. Um, I can reveal three spaces. So do that here. Coins. So this is when this hero plays an ally, gain one power, and that's gonna be. Well, they both have allies now. Uh, who has more allies? One. Yeah, she does. Uh, Shara. So I guess she takes it now. Interesting. Alright. And now we can take this. Use it. Great. And I might go do the elite battle. Maybe. Screw it. Let's see what happens. This is... Berserker. Each time the heroes play a card, gain two power. That's very, very bad for me. Oh, this, this, this is death. Literally, that's what I do is play lots of free cards. So, like, if I do this, I gain five block, two, two extra damage. Oh, this is not good. How do I win? I literally don't know. This is bad. I got all defend cards. Well. Oh god. Just just trying to block all this. 46. That's fine. We did it. So does this stay? No, it resets. So that's good. Okay, so this is free. It's not free because it's adding damage. Oh god. Uh, It's not even worth attacking. Jesus. I just gotta block and let these deal damage. I think that's like my only... Okay, he's not attacking here, so I should just go crazy. Your damage. Your damage. Strike. 10 damage. Draw cards for free. Draw cards for free. Your damage. Draw cards. You... Which one's better? Damage. Okay, well, we did damage. 23. 23 damage coming in. I mean, this is very good because... It doesn't, uh... It's, it's a lot of damage, but doesn't add to his rage. Or his berserk. So, this gives me 5 block, but adds 2 damage. 5 block... 2, two damage. So, it's profitable... Ally aggressive, actively attack an enemy, loses aggressive this turn. What? I mean, it's free damage. It, it raises his berserk, but it, then it's free damage from now on. And then I believe I retreat, gain block. Great. And then he's going to gain 2, 24, 31. All right, I think we're going to make it through. Discard your hand, attack for 36 times the amount of discarded cards. Sounds good to me. Get this, I just want this to over. Holy crap. Okay. So, gold. The hero loses 5 life, they gain 2 power. Don't really like that. Page, right, and then a brush. Sure. 
Don't know if I like this. Five life is a ton. Don't think I'm going to use that. So I got a brush. When I could use it here. Doesn't reveal a ton. What I should do is use this to get out. I should do it in a better place though. Like here. Use this. Get out here. Then use the brush. Nice. Here's a story thing. An exquisite looking rug lying on the side. Suddenly begins moving. Lying on the side on the side of what? Uh, it bends itself into an undulating waves and curls, then stretches like a cat. Soroko and Shara look at each other and nod, deciding to approach closer. The carpet presents itself next to their feet invitingly. Soroko grabs hold of the carpet, which you can fly, ignoring obstacles on the map. Soroko loses 8 life, only 25% to gain the thing. Ah, uh, uh, obstacles on the map. I mean, that's just like battles and stuff, right? And the empty spaces. So that's not even good. Eh. Don't want it. Don't want it. It's not good. Draft a card. Don't like it. I mean this is good. I think it's fine. Um. Like obstacles are stuff like this that I can't walk through. So what. I mean this is like very obstacle heavy. There's lots of stuff that blocks me from going places. But it's not like crazy. Not enough to take 8 damage for. Well, I do not have a lot of health on Sirocco. But we'll try the boss. I did not reveal a lot of the map. I missed a lot of the the stuff. But we'll see what happens. What the heck is that Soul Eater? Uh, when anything dies, it gains 4 power. So more of this cannibal stuff. I'm not getting punished for playing cards though. So that's good. Let's draw 2. This is good. So we'll do that. I'm only taking 10. Not a huge deal. Dang, I didn't get a lot of damage stuff though. Alright, we'll block. We'll block. We'll deal 20 here. And that's fine. Great. A uh, vulnerable. Take more damage. Well, that sucks. Alright, you can come up. Do this. Should have did that first. Gain some block. Gain some block. Um, yeah, it's fine. I'm not gonna do the clicky thing until I'm desperate to get her in the back. That sounded. Don't take that out of context, please. Um, sure. Draw some cards. Lunge. Uh, does gain for block. So this is 32. I need more block stuff. This is a lot of block. I guess it's fine. 30. Wait, did it gain power? What happened? It's more damage than I thought it was. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I'll take some damage, I guess. Ow. Okay. This is... Intends to destroy the hero's front ally and gain... What? What do you mean destroy the enemy's... What? Oh, ally. Ally. These. These, these, these. Okay, I was like, Jesus, is it just gonna kill my guy? Just It just gets to do that? No, it's going to kill this thing. That's interesting. Okay, draw two, then put two cards back on top. I guess we can see what's going on. Okay, I want... Um, I don't need block, right? Not this turn. So I don't need you, and I don't need you. Confirm. Alright, you... Let's strike... Get you up here. Strike. The damage. Lots of damage. Play this. Alright. Sure. So this is gonna get eaten. And it gained power. 27. Okay. So. Damage and block is good. This is fine. Free block is good. Block and retreat. 28, so we're fine now. Deal damage. Great, we're fine. Sure. 22. Let's gain a bunch of block. Now we're fine. And then... Just deal damage. 
Great, that's fine. Okay. 36. What is this? Gain one energy for each card in your hand that costs two or more, which is nothing. But it's free. And it's going to deal damage with this, so... Free damage. Alright, so I think I strike... Strike... Defend to get her in front. Parry. 18 of this is blocked. It's not bad. Okay, go to 32. Um, I guess we can do this again. So I don't need block because it's not attacking again. So block out, block out, confirm. Okay, so we just want to deal damage. All the damage that we can. What does this do? Attack for 10 whenever you gain block. Nope, don't care. Just attacking. Lots of attacking. Down to 63. Alright. I mean, to comment on the art again, like, the texture and detail on this model is really cool. But it's very, very cool stuff. Don't know, I didn't talk about that earlier because I didn't notice. What's it paying attention? 26. 26 damage. So, free block. Um, do this. So, this is going to switch twice. If I have this right. It's going to switch forward, switch back, and trigger both of these. Let's see how much block we have. 20, 31, yeah. Huh. Interesting. And then we'll just deal damage. Because we have all of this blocked, so that's fine. Uh, vulnerable again. 30, that's not good. So we want you up front. Now it's only dealing uh, only 48. And, uh-oh, someone's going to die here, right? Can deal this damage to swap back. Do this. So that's 24. Maybe we're fine. 51. We are very fine. And this is free 4 damage. Okay. We got it. No, it, it's, it's switched again. It's because he's vulnerable. He's switching forward and then it's dealing more damage. And I keep forgetting to account for that. Um, again, this is free 4 damage here. So I want to... Strike. Then defend. With her. Because it's less damage. This should be fine. Yes. Ooh, 3. Holy crap, I might... I need to kill this thing. Now. Alright, so this is free damage. This is free damage. I want to smoke bomb... Which is 4 damage. And now he's in front. So this should kill it. Okay. Whew. That was very close. Nice. So you get the gold. Get this. Draw this at the start of each battle. Okay, so I can put this on a card and draw it every turn. Or every battle. Again, I don't like these batches of cards. Because there's like one good one. But you have to take the whole batch. You can't just take one. So I'll just take this. Uh, dead, take that, take this, take this. Treasure. The hero pick, who picks this up drafts three cards. That's not guaranteed to be good. At the start of each battle, gain three energy, so... Get to go crazy the first turn. Each time you play five cards in a single turn, we're doing that a lot. Okay, so we're doing this a lot because we're drawing and we have so many cheap cards, so I think this is fine. And we will continue on. The final... The final area. Doing well. Alright, so let's draft a card. Attack the leading enemy for 6 twice. So it's 12 for 1. Which is a bad. None of these are really impressing me though. I think I'm going to skip. And we will do this first fight. See what the enemies look like here. I have beaten this once. Yeah, again, the art style. Very cool. I don't mind even the models. They're kind of cartoony, but they're also like very textured and detailed. Like the lighting... On the shield is very cool, how it's dark back here and light back here. Lots of texture and stuff. Very cool. So we're taking 25. I like this pet a lot, so I'm gonna get that out there. Or this, uh... It's exotic pet, which is a, an ally. That's the word. Uh, we will defend. Um... I mean, this is a free 5 damage. 
This gains block. This gains block. I think I just take the two damage, right? That's fine. Take two. Because she's going to gain four. Con concussed. Discard a random card, which just got discarded. Okay, well. Uh, free block, free damage. Twelve. And more block. Draw two. Draw two. Let's use her cards because it's free damage. Free, free damage. So we're at 16 block, 18 damage. I guess we'll cast this. Strike. And we'll do this. Deal 15, swap. And that blocks all the damage. What is this back here, by the way? Lotus? This creature was summoned. Summons not have to be defeated to end the battle. Yeah, but what's it doing? I don't know. Uh, but we will hopefully just end this game. End this battle. Uh, swap this forward. Free damage. Attack for eight twice. Discard a card. Oh, let's just draw cards first. Let's just draw cards. See what goes on. All right. This works. Great. And she just heals back to full. So that was a pretty easy battle. This is the opposite directions one. Uh, so that'd be good. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So like here. No, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So up here. If I go up here, but then I'm only... I, I don't know. That that ink bottle is awkward. It's awkward to use effectively. Uh, What are these? Flamethrowers. <laughs> Literal flamethrowers. They deal one. The enemy intends to attack and use a debuff. Interesting. Um, well, this is free. And this is free. So this blocks the damage. And then I guess we just do impact. Strike. Get you back. And that should be fine. It's only two damage. It's fine. What is that? On fire. At the end of each turn, this hero in this position. So... Swapping doesn't matter. It's whoever's in front is going to take a 16. Whenever you swap, reduce the fire stacks by 2. Okay, so we want to swap a lot. So swap. Down to 4. Okay, that's... I get it. Interesting. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on with this game. It, it, there really is. It's it's not bad at all. Um, so we will... Let's swap. Reduce the damage. No way to swap anymore. Play if only Sirocco is leading. Well, shoot. We'll attack for 10. So I'm guessing... Can I block this is the question. Like, will my block block it? I don't know. I can swap by doing this though. And that reduces it to 8. And then I can swap again. Go to 6. I mean, this is interesting. My block does block it. Okay. So they're going to keep adding this fire... And I got to swap to reduce it. And also my block will block it. So let's get you because this is decent. We'll draw two. Have no way to swap. Are you serious? Activate the swap heroes, right? Play this. Activate it. Swap. Lunge. Swap. All right. Not great. Not great. 34 fire. This is a cool concept for a battle, though. Alright, so what does this do? Draw two, gain four power, gain three block. Draw two. Uh, get free block. Finding it hard to swap. Finding it hard to swap. Let's just kill one of these. So that's less fire that's going to get added per turn. This adds block when I swap. So that's good. Can do this to swap. So down to 32, 18, 8, down to 62, got 32 fire though, so this is going to be a painful turn. Yeah, that's that sucks. Up to 40 now, but we can swap for free. We can do this, swap. We can swap for free. 39, I can deal 30. I guess we just deal damage. 
Yes, this just kills it. Okay, that was interesting. Interesting fight. Get some ink. Draft a card. Attack. Attack for 20 in the turn. I think I did that earlier by accident. Um, I mean, 20 damage is a lot for one mana. I just have to cast it last. That's kind of fine. One, two, three, four. So if I use the the weird... Oh, I have a thing here. The third card Char plays each turn gains three power. Vault of Wisdom always offers one card with one random gem in it. I mean, that's decent, but we're at the end of the thing. Both heroes gain plus one power, which increases damage. That's fine. Totally fine. So let's use this here. I guess. Which is, gets us down here. What is that? Oh, he steals... Th th this is a dirty thief. What'd they steal? I think he stole a trinket. Yeah. Which one was this? Um, yeah, this gives us block and... Okay, it's it's not the end of the world. I, I can go get it, and I probably will. This heals 10. I think it's fine to use right now, actually. Draft a card. The next two hits on an enemy are critical hits, but this doesn't do anything, and it costs two, which is a lot. This is that thing. I mean, this is proven to be decent. I don't know if I need two of them, but I mean, it's been fine. It's free damage with the ally I have, so I guess it's fine. Deal damage to this in exchange for gold. This fairy is preventing you from using your brush. Deal damage to this. Okay, so is this like a... Just a timed thing? Yeah, it's not going to hit me properly. I just... The more damage I can do, the better. So, free damage. 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 Uh, damage. Sure. Alright. None of the block stuff does anything. Okay, this is free damage. That's good. I mean, it costs one, but it's free from now on. Exotic pet is good. Draw cards. Huh. Alright. Do this. Didn't get anything there, but... We're set up now. We'd, we're gonna deal five damage. This deals four per card I can cast. Um, so do this. Four damage. Do this. Four damage. Draw... Draw. Free. Okay, so... We'll do this. And we'll do 21. Great. So this is just free gold, basically, right? What is that? That's probably fling? What is this? Uh, I can't see it. The enemy intends to run away. Alright. So, gotta do as much damage here as we can. Damage. Damage. Great. And... What, we can swap for free? And then deal this damage. Which is another four there. Great. And then it flees and I get... I got a bunch of gold. I should go to the shop. Nice. Uh, this gives me f uh, more energy. On the first turn. Oh, what does this do? The hero who picks this up drafts three cards. Not exciting. What does the pipe do? I can't see it. Enter. Oh, that's the guy who stole my stuff. Uh, sure. Reveal. Some ink. Sure. Alright. Do this. Really? You're one off? I misclicked. Oh, no, this isn't. He's stolen one of your treasures. Why is it this? I was just uh, holding on to it. And I just get it back. Oh, I get another one. Whenever this hero blocks, gain one more block. That's pretty good. Both of these have been blocking a lot. She does it more, though, I think. Alright, let's uh, get, get a battle here. Alright, this is free. This is decent. What is this thing, by the way? A renovator bot. All right, so draw some cards. Uh, free. Draw some cards. Free. Draw some cards. Draw some cards. Give me something a bit more useful. Um, 
I guess I want this. And then we'll just deal 30 damage. Right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Great. Alright, sound to 141. Block all this. What is that? What's this mean? Fix them up. So it literally is a renovator bot. It's fixing stuff. At the end of the enemy turn, which will be me, return all destroyed enemies to the field this creature deals. This creature takes 30 damage for each returned enemy. So if I kill these, it's going to take damage? Is that the idea? At the end of the enemy's turn. So I think it's... I assumed it was phrasing this from its perspective, so I was the enemy. But I think it's at the end of this thing's turn, it's going to return all of these back and then take damage. So if I destroy these, that's actually good. Okay, what does this do? Attack the leading enemy for however much damage she's already dealt. And it's not bad, so this is free. This is free. Um, it's not that much damage, actually. I guess I can do this. Which adds to the damage. 27. So it's dealing 28, so I should gain some block, I guess. Alright. Took one. What is this? What's the face? The enemy intends to summon more enemies. Well, I want to cast you. I mean, I could do, like, this. Combo. Attack for nine. What's combo if this is the last... If the last card you played belonged to the other hero, which it did. Alright, so we'll do that. Do this. I keep forgetting to do the, the power thing first. I can't even cast that. I didn't have that much mana. Whoops. Or energy. So these are just... Uh, giving it... I assume... Defense. Enemies without taunt cannot be targeted. I don't know what that means. Whenever Shara swaps to the front, add a dagger. Hmm. I think that might be okay. So let's... Swap back in a bunch of... Stuff... Swap forward, get a dagger. Um, it's nine. Maybe I should try to... Oh, I can't, I can't even target those, can I? No. Alright, you. Gain some block. 27? Sure. Okay. Block that. This is less damage, but it's got 21. I should be able to kill it. Hopefully. High five. Combo, gain one courage. And this deals 31. Oh, it's got 30 block. Holy crap. Um, strike. No, I want to cast strike. Strike. Uh-oh. This is 46 damage. So swap. Get you up front. And then I guess deal seven? Okay. 29. 58 damage. It's got to be these things. Alright. I mean, I could deal 50. So let's just do that. Alright. Jeez. That was rough. Get some ink. What's this do? This hero gains plus 12 max life. Fully heal the hero when taken. I want to go right for that. What's this thing? I don't know. So let's just do like one of these here and one of these here. Then do a big brush. A page. Coins. And then one of these here. I misclicked again. That's twice I've done that. Alright, so we want this to go here. Fully heal. What is this? The ancient creature sniffs the air. Is that, oh, have you found my teacup? She brightens filled with new energy. Do I have a teacup? Oh, I do. Oh, it's the thing I just... So do I want to lose the 12 max life I just got? Maybe. I don't know what it's going to do. Thank you, child. Will you help an old lady find her way out? Leave. Will now be available in your base camp. Oh, that's the other character that I don't have unlocked. Well, there we go. All right, let's use this. Reveal. This is good. I'm getting to the point now where I'm starting to wonder if I should keep exploring or just go for the final boss. I'm fully healed right now. I don't know if I need to explore a lot. Free five damage is good. Um, what's this? This is the start each battle. I want to start each battle with that pet 
that does so much free damage. Exotic. Oh, I already used a gem on it, though. That sucks. I mean, this is also very good. So let's start each battle. That's five damage per turn for free. Let's go to the shop, and then I'm going to decide if I just want to go for the final boss right now. Um, we have, if the hero did not attack this turn, draw three cards next turn. Whenever a card grants you energy, gain one. The first hit each turn deals double damage. That's pretty good. I mean, that's probably worth it every single turn. Sure. Anything here I want? Not really. I've got 343. I can still get... No, I can't get one of these. Yeah, so do I want to keep exploring? Because I've got full health. It's not guaranteed that I'll have full health. I can use these brushes at least. And see if I reveal coins or, or something. Let's go here and see... I can draft. Uh, 10 block. Decrease the cost of a random card to 0. Um, attack for 15. Retreat. Can only be played if she's in front. And the hammer time. Eh. Let's just go... Where, where can I reveal the biggest... The, the largest number of things. Do this. We get a story thing. What the heck is that? A strange creature catches the eye of Sirocco. As it gallops through the woods, the heroes follow it until it stops at a pool of perfectly still water. Submerging itself without a ripple, Sirocco looks into the water to see two shimmering reflections of the beast just under the surface. Follow. Copy a card in your deck. That sounds good. Uh, I want more of these. Confirm. Easy choice. Um, yeah, sure. Nice. Alright, I think I'm gonna... Oh, there's a gym thing here. There's a gym thing right here. Draw a card. Whenever you draw this, reduce its cost by one. Reduce its cost by one. Oh, the exotic pet copied the the gym. That's good. Reduce, reduce its cost by one. Huh. Or just draw a card. I mean, adding a draw a card on a free thing sounds good. Like this. So I think I'll take the, the draw card... And I'm going to add it to something that's free. Um, maybe this? Although I only cast that once per game, so maybe not. Something like this. Or the parry. Either one is fine. So sure, I'll do that. Okay, so do I want to do a couple more battles? I kind of just want to go for the boss. I do have to do the elite battle. I guess I can do this, get a brush. And then we'll see, we'll see how we feel about it after this. What is this? Centipede. That's so much health. Okay, so play this for free. Uh, this, this is a ton of damage. Wait, what's, what's this hammer thing? The next segment gains five power and final upgrade. Can I target anything? Oh, I can only, no, I can. That's so weird. All right, well, let's just attack, I guess. Let's do zero. Let's look for those exotic pets before I cast too much stuff. There's one. That's good. Okay, so... 15, 20, 25, 26. So let's get a little bit more block. And then deal 25, I guess. Great. And all of this should be blocked. Nice. 35, god dang, 40, 45, 46, well, free attack, draw a card, free attack, draw, or I don't draw a card on that one, um, free block, I forgot to do the power thing first again, I've been doing that the entire, the entire time, um, so it, it, it lost its head, it's not dealing that much damage now, so that's good. Still gonna take some damage though. Yeah. Oh no, fire again. No. Okay, so what is this? Activate, swap your heroes, draw a card. That's very good, especially with this fire stuff. Activate. Swap, draw. Great. Um, We'll do exotic pet. We'll block. Swap. I guess I can animate or do this thing. That swaps down to 10. Could do impact, which does a lot of damage. But I'm taking 20 
five, six, plus the ten, thirty-six. So I should really gain some more block. But this deals so much damage. It deals damage to all of them. Okay, this is probably worth it. I'm gonna take a hit. Uh, this costs zero and it deals one. Not sure why it has a question mark, but sure. All right, this is gonna be a big hit, but we did a lot of damage. 40, 40 damage. All right, we'll swap. We'll draw, looking more for more free stuff. Free, draw. Why does it deal 50 damage? <laughs> All right, we'll do 16 here. Gain six block and courage, which increases damage. This doesn't deal 50 now. I don't know why that was like that. I don't know. All right, we'll swap, reduce the fire damage. Yeah, I think this is worth it. Do this. Reduces the fire some more. Okay. Sure, I didn't take damage there. So free is good. I got this mystery egg thing. This deals 50. This is probably worth casting. I'm only taking five. It's the fire that's the problem right here. So let's swap, swap, reduce the fire. Oh, uh, let's draw. Uh, gain some block. That's good. And I guess do 11. All right. Sure. 35 plus 12 fire. All right. Free block. Free card draw. That. Oh, it transferred the damage. That sucks. Um. Game two power. I guess I can get this for more block. Defend. Slam. Attack for 27. And it's going to be free, right? I'll swap. And then this is free. And that's it. Wow, that was tough. Very tough. Very interesting battles, though. Hero attacks from this card. Pierce through for half damage to the next enemy. Uh, So we'd want to put that on a big high... Oh, probably, again, another hammer time thing, right? Because now that's going to nice go crazy. So I'll use this brush. I guess I can do it down. Wasn't there a... Like I can do it around here and guarantee I get gold. And another ink. I guess. But we're not exposing many tiles. Do it here. There's health. That's good. It is one precision ink. No, it is three. So it can reach one thing. Can I reach this? One, two, three. I can. I mean, we might as well. I need to not misclick this time. Uh, one, two, three. And we get to draft a card here. Draft. Combo. Attack for zero five times. What? 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 <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, 12? Whenever a hero plays a card, dec Oh! It's a 12 power ally. It's gonna do 12 per turn. It costs 12, but every time I cast something, it costs less. And I'm casting so many zero cost things. That's very good. Uh, the hero who picks this up drafts, uh, three cards. Let's do this. Attack for 15, retreat, attack the leading enemy for 15. And the next enemy for five. That's pretty good. Gain seven. I'm, I'm going to take this. Uh, gain five block for free is good. I'm getting too much of this stuff though. I need like more card draw. My card draw is getting diluted because of how much uh, stuff I'm taking. Swap the hero to the front. Attack the leading enemies for six twice. Uh, I think I'm just going to skip all this. I have another thing here though. This is a good reason to continue fighting is to get the last unlock here. Whenever Shara takes damage from an enemy attack, she retreats and gains 4 power next turn. At the end of each battle, Soraka... Each battle, not each turn. That would have been good early. 
Start each battle with a Storyteller, Ally, Activate, Draw a Card. So it's basically two free cards per game, uh, per battle. I think this is very good. I'm going to take that. Um, again, do I want to fight? I can fully heal Sirocco. I don't know if I need to do these battles. I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal. None of this matters. This is the last battle. So let's get to full health. Um, I have enough gold to get one of the gems now. So I should do that. When you play this, add a zero cost copy of the card to your hand. So it's going to be in the deck now. Like, um, for that, for that battle. Maybe this is the play. Because I can, I can do this on maybe the, ex, uh, what the, the, wait, oh. Oh my god, the 12 thing. Where is it? Can I do that? Can I do it on a pet? Oh my god, I can ha I can get two of these. 24 damage free per turn. That's got to be good. I mean, it's free, right? I just block, 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 deal 24. All right, let's just go for the final boss. This run has taken me forever. Holy crap, I've been recording for like two hours. Yes, it's been like an hour and a half to be fair, but it's been a long time. All right, final boss, Avatar of Mist. Dealing 13 damage right off the rip. That's not great, but, you know, what can you do? So we'll get the power. Then we'll impact. Uh, I should probably defend. I should, I should probably defend a little bit here. Gain some block. 16. Uh, I want her in the back here, so let's do this. What's, what's this stuff? Whenever Avatar Mist deals life damage, dissolve the top two cards of the player's deck. Each 100 life Avatar Mist loses, dissolve two cards from the player's discard. Activates in 22 damage. Okay, so I'm just going to lose cards. Hopefully not the Colossus thing. I'm kind of relying on that. So that's just two cards gone. Fortunately, nothing too crazy. So there it is. So let's see if we can cast that this turn. We'll do this for free. This is free, so it's going to keep reducing the cost, I think. Zero free. Free. So it's down to two. Uh, decrease the cost of a random card in your hand by to zero. So that's probably worth it. That goes to zero, so this is free. Now this is free. Does it add it? Adds the card. When they, when you cast this, add it to your hand. So I just get two of these now. So I get 24 damage per turn. 8, 16, 24, 32 damage I'm taking here. Probably get the ally. So I can deal 21. Or I can deal strike. And then 28. Sure, this deals one for... Oh, I couldn't cast it. Okay. So take some damage. Well, I mean, we're, we've got so much damage per turn. we got 29 damage free per turn. I just need to survive. Exotic pet is great. Um, it's not doing anything, so I should just attack. Attack the leading enemy for 48. Uh, sure. I will do that. I should have parried first to get the free 4 damage. Uh, ally. Both heroes gain power. I mean, yes. Oh, I can only have so many of these. Interesting. Um, the free card... Uh, the free card is nice. Maybe the, the swapping for this, sure. Um, strike for 22. Lots of free damage. We're doing alright. I'm so glad these didn't get... Um, what's happening? End the turn? Sure. Um, I'm so glad that Windstorm Colossuses didn't get eaten. Okay, so... What's more important here? Because I have another exotic pet. So it's whenever you draw it, reduce its cost by two. So if I don't cast it, it's going to cost zero next time. Retain. Attack twice for damage equal to the size of your discard pile, which is... So it's going to do 44. Well, this is free, so let's do this. It's, it's 24. Um, sure. I guess I'll cast... I can't, because I, I have to get rid of something. Uh... Let's just defend... And then let's climax 31. Free damage everywhere. I think we got this. 40 damage. 
this deals 86, which isn't enough, but this deals 38. This does 33 now. This deals 19. This deals 23. Is that it? Because these, these kill it? End the turn? Holy crap! Well, there we go! We got, we got through the game. Beat the final boss. Made it look kind of easy. We just had so much free card, uh, free cards, and that exotic pet was what did it. That exotic pet just letting us cast free stuff and dealing free damage. Nice. So there's some meta perk Russian stuff. Gain one for each ally you control. I mean, that's pretty good. Gain five block. Add ran two random cards from your discard pile to your hand. That's decent. Whenever you draw or play this, gain four. So even if you don't play it, you gain four. And if you do, then it's eight total. That's pretty cool. Um, party unlock new treasures. Next time, the, the first time each battle, the other hero would take lethal, da lethal damage. Swap the heroes and gain 12 block. Interesting. So there we go. How long did that take? Is there a time? Two hours and ten minutes. It's going to be a long video, but... There you go. That is, uh, that's the game. So it's fun. It's a good game. What I don't like, I don't like the, the meta progression where literally you can just buy life. You can add like some of this, uh, what, like this one. It just adds stuff to the map, adds health potions. This adds gems. Uh, you may now discover flash gems, hide an additional gem in each chapter, um, reveal the final boss. What? Start the game with 50 extra gold, right? This is just free stuff, and I don't really like that so much. Um, but, and I unlocked a new hero. That's cool. But, uh, the game is really good. Like, if I'm just writing that experience that I just had, it's like an 8 out of 10. It, it is. It's it's up with Slay the Spire and Monster Train. Um, the problem I've had with this game, um, back, is now when I start a new run... The characters, um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So, in Slay the Spire, right, you have four characters. So, at the very least, you could do four runs, and they would each feel totally unique because they have totally different decks. With this, I just unlocked this. So, if I didn't have this, I, I could choose her and this guy, but that would still mean that half the cards I play are still the same as the last run I just made. If I chose Sirocco and this guy... I still have 50% of the same cards. So it's like, there's not enough diversity between runs because you have to choose uh, two characters. Like, because you have to choose two characters per run, there needs to be more characters for more diversity. Otherwise, at least half your deck is going to be the same your second run. So it starts feeling very samey very fast. Um, it feels very repetitive and not distinct enough. And uh, for Monster Train, you choose two factions per run. But there's five... Or is there six? There's Hellhorn, there's the green, blue, there's the Eater people, um, there's the Remnants, so there's five, there's five starters, plus there's the sixth for the DLC, plus there's each faction has two heroes with two, di two different styles of play, then each hero has three different versions of the hero, and then you have all the randomness with the, the units you find. So when you compare that, which also has a, you know, pick two, pick two people um, style of play, there's a lot of complexity to uh, Monster Train. Whereas this, if, if I do this run now, all of Shara's cards are going to be the same. 50% of my deck will be different because of this guy. So um, that's the big problem I've had with this game is I think it's excellent. It's very, very good. I just don't think I'm going to play this game for, you know, 200 hours. No, I've dumped so many hours into Slay the Spire and Monster Train, and I don't think I'm going to do it with this uh, with this game just because there's not enough characters, and I, it feels too um, too samey, too much uh, of the same stuff happening every run. But it is pretty fun. Um, I don't want to exit the game, but I'll go to the main menu. So that's Rogue Book. Hopefully, that just gives you an idea of what to expect if you're interested in it. I'll, I think I'll probably end up playing it for 20 or 30 hours. I can see that happening. It is fun. It's a good game. So if you can pick it up for like 10 or 15 bucks and you're okay with a roguelike that you'll play for 20 or 30 hours, I think it is pretty good. But this isn't like, in my opinion, 
This isn't like Slay the Spire or Monster Train where you can dump like 500 hours into it. I don't think, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like I'm going to get bored with this pretty quick, but yeah, it's still pretty good. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope that was interesting or useful or whatever. And I will see you in the next one.